theme of this conference is safety and ethics. Let me bring a leaf out of history and tell you that when somebody focuses on human values, profits generate naturally. I hope all of you have heard of the famous industry Alcoa, Aluminum Corporation of America. One of the largest aluminum industry with presence in 40 different countries. It's not small, 40 countries. Almost 200,000 people employed. That industry was going to the dogs. There's no way, loss after loss after loss after loss, there was no way this industry could come up. The board of directors decided that we need to bring, breathe back life into our industry. So let's bring in a new dynamic CEO who would take care of the industry and bring a huge change. Get ready for the surprise. They roped in, in 1987, they roped in Paul O'Neill. Go back and check the facts. Paul O'Neill. He came in as the CEO. The first meeting of the board of directors Everybody is hoping, the investors are hoping, everybody is hoping that this young dynamic CEO will turn the fortunes of the entire Alcoa. You know, they were all expecting huge sheaves. They were all expecting a great lecture. They were expecting a presentation. They were expecting facts and figures of how we can breathe back profits, profits, profits. The first lecture by the CEO, Paul O'Neill, to the board of directors was less than 10 minutes. He came without papers. He got up and he said, my prime concern for Alcoa is safety. Does it ring a bell? Mr. President, does it ring a bell? He said, my concern for Alcoa is safety, supreme safety. I have found that because of injuries and lack of safety, every hundred days, two days are lost in the factory. I want to bring it down from two to zero. That is my goal. There is no other issues today to be discussed. It's just safety. Suddenly one guy from the board, he raised his hand and said, uh, but uh, what about the profits? He said, my only profit is safety. Thank you very much. The meeting is concluded. Straight away, some of the board members, they went back to their investors and they said, God, we've got a hippie in the room. <laughs> He's crazy. Nothing can happen. He did not just make this speech. He righted it off with special laws and sub-laws. He said, if in any company there's an injury and it takes life, by default, that manager is suspended. If any of my little factory, if there's an injury when a worker has to lose days because of that injury, it's serious, tell me, I personally will go there and look after him. All the days that the worker misses, his wages should be doubled. And that wage should be cut from the manager. Whosever fault it is, I don't want injuries in our factories and it creates a feeling of safety. He went on and on and on. He created a system and in the factory where there are no injuries, I will raise the wages equally for the entire factory floor. You know, to everybody's surprise, all the little people working on the floor, they got a feeling that there's a guy at the top and he cares about our lives. There's a guy at the top and he cares about my individual life. The commitment grew. Injuries decreased. And they say in the first year after he took over, the entire company made one billion dollar profit in just one year. And by the time he left office, the net worth of Alcoa 
was 27 billion, all because of the measures he took on safety. He proved to the world that there are profits in values. You may grow in numbers, but he proved to the world that there is a guy at the top who cares about the small men at the bottom. It is love and commitment that generates this environment. But sometimes you may have to take difficult decisions because I want to keep to this idea of safety and ethics. You may have to take decisions that actually burn your pockets. You know why most of the industrialists don't go for the safety measures? Because it's too much hassle and it's too much money. And most of the people in India, we feel that we have enough population, so life is expendable. <laughs> it isn't. Do you have a heart? Then that heart should speak. So let me give you another.